Hmm. I guess a good question to answer up front is why? Why explore? Why explore Baffin Island? Why the Arctic? Why cold? The short answer is growth. It happens during the pursuit of the unknown and the uncomfortable in challenging situations. That's what adventure is to me. Pursuit of evolution. Risking something. Surviving. Here we are. We just landed at the airport. In, uh, we're calling it Keek, but the full name is Kikitarjuak. Kikitarjuak. pretty exhausting but only got about 55 more kilometers to go over 12 days or so it's like Yosemite but nobody's here mile day, 70 pound pack through like swamp. It's like, a, like every single step. <laughs> uh, they were trying to suck my boot off, but it was worth it. We get to be here for two days. my journal a little bit. We are getting closer, closer and closer to Asgard. You can see it way out in the distance. Catch up with the group.
camp for the night. This is Russ. What's up? Hello. Kate. Hello. <laughs> and Arthur. Our Arthur? chief. Chief. He's the chief. in the castle. about to show you is every landscape photographer's absolute dream situation. It's about to light up. You will put some foreground, basically like a base of a tour is going to be center of your photo. And that will give you a really nice balance. You wanna take a shot here really quick? Yeah. Only a handful of photographers have ever shot this. Pretty good day today. Uh, hike looks like about 10 kilometers. Most of it's downhill though. Uh, if you can see just over that moraine, sort of at the base of Mount Thor. That's where we're headed. Right now, I am hunting for compositions, which means you sort of wander around, kind of look at, like, how can I use these two mountains to kind of create a nice picture? Um, and stuff that goes into a good landscape photo, you really need uh, a strong foreground, midground, and background elements, usually to convey depth. And hopefully, also you have some sort of leading lines that kind of take you, take the viewer in through the photo, because. Without them, you, you can't really understand the scale of a thing unless you put a person in the photo. And so, oh, this looks pretty good. Let's see how there's this sort of line that comes up through here. Yeah, that could be something. Maybe a vertical shot. Hopefully we can get few photos out of this location. A lot of hiking. I think we've come about 65 kilometers so far on this trip for 75. And we only have 25 more to go. Very wintry morning. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a light snow coming down. I just got out of my sleeping bag. I'm gonna try to shoot what I can today because we have about 25 kilometers to go and um, two more days left. So I'm gonna try to get some shots of this guy up here and maybe something of that, Thor. And then eat some oatmeal. This is the part where we sit and wait for the light. And the clouds. It's 
snowing pretty good right now. Which is pretty nice. I'm absolutely exhausted. Oh God. <laughs> Beautiful light. Hopefully that clears up. There's an Arctic hare. coolest thing. Arctic hares, they come out right at sunset and then they just sort of hang out. They like, it's almost like they're watching it. Probably more like it's just safer for them to come out and start eating plants, but <laughs> still it's kind of cool. So glad the wind died down. Streams are all icing up, and we are officially the last people in the park for the year. It's been quite the amazing trip. We're out at 12 o'clock tomorrow on our boat back to Pengutung and back to Kalawit and Ottawa, Vancouver, and then Seattle. Today is our, our last morning. Just walking down basically to the end of the edge of the fjord there where the boat can pick us up. And that will be the adventure. It's quiet, there's not much wind. Can you see these? Pick these up at a hardware store in the Kalawit so that I could attach this onto the front of my backpack. Where I keep all my video and photo supplies. Our boat! We had to uh, call in with a satellite phone because our original pickup never showed up. And uh, so we've been 
waiting by a shelter of a rock against the wind and the rain for the last four hours or so. Everybody's been getting pretty cold, a little panicky. But it wouldn't be an adventure.